of the database. Lecture number four, normalization. Here is our plan of the lesson. Number one is normalization of tables. Number two is levels of normalization. Number three is functional dependencies. Number four is the first normal form, 1 and f. Number five is the second normal form, or 2 and f. And the finally six, the third normal form, 3 and f. There are our references, you can look and read. Normalization. This is the process which allows you to winnow out retentant data within your database. This involves re restructuring the tables to successfully meet in higher forms for normalization. A properly normalized database should have the following characteristics. Scalar values in each field, absence of redundancy, Minimal use of null values, minimal loss of information. Normalization. Normalization. We discuss four normal forms: first, second, third, and both called normal forms: one and f, two and f, three and f, and the b, c, and f. Normalization is a process that improves a database design by generating relations that are of higher normal forms. The objective of normalization to create relations where every dependency is one and the key, the who he and the nothing but the key. Normalization there is a sequence to formal forms. 1 and f is considered the weakest, Num uh, number 2 is 2 and f is stronger than 1 and f, 3 and f is stronger than 2 and f, and b, c and f is considered the strongest. Also, any relation that is in b, c and f is in 3 and f. Any relation in 3 and f is in 2 and f, and any relation is 2 and f is in 1 and f. Levels of normalization. Levels of normalization based on the amount of redundancy in the database. Various levels of normalization are first normal form 1 and f, second normal form or 2 and f, third normal form 3 and f, voice code normal form b, c and f, fourth normal form 4 and f, fifth normal form 5 and f, and then domain key normal form d, k and f, redundancy, number of tables and complexity. Most database should be twin and f or bc and f in order to avoid the database anomalies. Levels of normalization. Each higher level is a subset of the lower level. You can look at the picture. Normalization. A relation in B, C, and F is also in 3 and F. A relation in 3 and F is also in 2 and F. And a relation in 2 and F is also in 1 and F. Normalization. We can consider a relation in B, C, and F to be fully normalized. The benefits of higher normal forms are that update semantics for the affected data are simplified. This means that applications required to maintain the database are simpler. A design that has a lower normal form than another design has more redundancy. Uncontrolled redundancy can lead to data integrity problems. First, we introduce the concept of functional dependency. Functional dependencies. Functional dependencies. We say an attribute B has a functional dependency on another attribute A. It for any two records which have the same value of for A, uh, th then the values for B in these two records must be the same. We illustrate this as A to B. Example, suppose we keep track of employee email addresses. 
and we only check the one email address for each employee. Suppose each employee is identified by their NQ employee number. We say there is a functional dependency of email address and employee number. Employee number to email address. Functional dependencies and there is an example. If employee number is a PK, then the FDs. Employee number to employee email, employee number to employee first name, and employee number to employee last name must exist. Functional dependencies. Uh, there is an example. Three different ways you might see if these DPS text. Determinant. Functional dependency. Employer name to employer email. Attribute uh, on the LGS is known as the determinant. Employer number is a determinant of employer email. Transitive dependency. Transitive dependency. Consider attributes A, B, and C, and where A to B and the B to C. Functional dependencies are transitive, which means that we also have the functional dependency. Uh, for example, A to C. We say that C is transitively dependent on A, a and through B. Transitive dependency. You can look at this picture and read yourselves. Partial dependency. A partial dependency exists when an attribute B is functionally dependent on an attribute A, and A is a component of a multi-part candidate key. Candidate keys if num and line num. If date is partially dependent on if num and the line num, as if num is a determinant of if date and if num is part of a candidate key. First normal form. First normal form. We say a relation is in one in f is if all values stored in the relation are single valued and atomic. 1 and f places restrictions on the structure of, of relations. Values must be simple. First normal form. The following is not in 1 and f. Imp num, imp phone and imp degrees. Imp degrees is a multi-valued field. Employees 679 has two degrees. B BS and the MS. Employee 333 has three degrees BA, BS, and the PhD. First normal form. There is an example. To, ob to obtain one and a F relation, we must, without loss of information, replace the above with two relations. See next slide. First normal form, employee and the employee degree. An author joined between employer and the employee degree will produce the information we saw before. Boise code normal form. Boise code normal form. B, C and F is defined very simply. A relation is in B, C and F if it is in first and F and if every determinant is an candidate key. If our database will be used for OLTP, online transaction processing, then BC and F is our target. Usually we meet this objective. However, we might denormalize 3NF, 2NF or 1NF for performance reasons. Second normal form. Second normal form. A relation is in second and f. If it is in one and f, and every non-key attribute is fully dependent on each candidate key. That is, we don't have any partial functional dependency. Second and f and 
Certain F was involved the concepts of key and non-key attributes. A key attribute is any attribute that is a part of a key. Any attribute that is not a key attribute is a non-key attribute. Relations that are non not in B, C, and F have data redundancies. sheets. A relation in 2 and F will not have any partial dependencies. Second normal form, consider this evil line table in 1 and F. Um, there are two candidate keys, Q, T, L, U, is the only non-key attribute and it is dependent on inf num since there are a determinant that is not a candidate key in line is not bc in f in line is not 2 in f since there is a partial dependency of inf date or inf num in line is only in 1 in f Second normal form. The above relation has redundancy sheets. The invoice date is repeated on each invoice line. We can improve the databases by decomposing the relation into two relations: infnum, livenum, prodnum, and query, and infnum and even date. Question: What is the highest normal form for these relations? Second NF, third NF, or BC NF. Is the following relation in two NF? You can look at this picture. Two NF, but not in three NF, but nor in BC NF. Employee dip. Since number is not a candidate key, and we have. D number and D name. Third normal form. Third normal form. A relation is in third no and F. If the relation is in uh, first and F, and all determinants of non-key attributes are candidate keys, that is, for any functional dependency, x to y, and where y is a non-key attribute. Or a set of non key attributes, X is a candidate key. This definition of third and F differs from BC and F only in the specification of non key attributes. Third and F is weaker than BC and F. BC and F requires all determinants to be candidate keys. A relation in third and F will not have any transitive dependencies of non-key attribute on a candidate key through another non-key attribute. Third normal form, consider this employee relation. Candidate keys are, you can look at this slide yourself. Third normal form, impnum, impname, depnum and depname. We correct the situation by decomposing the original relations into two third and F relations, not the decomposition of lossless. Verify these two relations are in third and F. In third and F, but not in B, C, and F. Instructor teaches one course only. Student takes a course and has one instructor. Student NO, course NO. Instructor NO, instructor NO, two course NO. Since we have instructor NO and course NO, but instructor NO is not a candidate key. Um, look at these pictures. And there are some questions for you. Number one is, what is table normalization? Number two is, which normal form is considered adequate for normal relation database design? Number three is, the first normal form, first and F. Number four is, the second normal form, second and F. 
and the fifth question is describe the characteristics of a table in third normal form third nf thank you for attention